you win the game. Eagles will start with the football. This is Parker Howley at quarterback. We own that. We own it. We own it. And incomplete on the first opportunity. Interesting there, no rush. Just let him throw the football. Hey, give me green. Green, Carter, you go. Hey, go for the flag, Carter. Hey. Jeffrey Howley is the head coach. We're not lined up 20 yards deep. Scoot up and backpedal. Orion, scoot up. Devin Holmes on the other side for the Buccaneers. Somebody get on that side of green. Let's go. Let's get there. Oh, I need that. That's fine. That's fine. And a completion fine. underneath. Yeah, there's the rush right there, just making the quarterback move a little bit. Nice completion hey, there by Howley. They got to get right here, halfway. Halfway. Green, green. Carter, let's go. We got to get there. Hey, Carter, can't afford any penalties right now. Julian Gutierrez on the reception there. Third down now. Biggest play of the game. Green. 50 yard field, 10 yard end zones. Here comes the rusher, and just short of midfield, and the rip brings him down. And this will bring up fourth down. You can punt or go for it. So here's the coaching coming into play here, Tom. Do they want to go for it, or you just give it to them and basically punt it and let them take it back to the other five-yard line? No kicking involved in any way. So fourth and four, they're going to leave the team on the field and go for it. In the no-run zone here. Final five yards before the half. Oh, nice little rollout. And a first down for the Eagles. Oh, you could call that a pick route, a rub route, if you're a defensive perspective guy like I am here. But uh, you see it right here. Number five runs a quick little hook route where sort of guides it to the flat. There it is. Nice little completion. So first and goal, three downs to get it into the end zone once they cross midfield. And a beautiful pass to the sideline. So this is what you'll see, a lot of hips, a lot of hips. I mean, in contact football, tackle football, runners don't run like this or avoid like this, but it's all about those two flags that are on the sides of the hip, how they move their hips, the quarter turns, the spins, the dips, various moves you'll see throughout the course of the weekend, Tom. Now second and goal for the Eagles. Parker Halley on the run. Into the end zone and incomplete. One of the things we discussed, the ability to have an accurate and mobile quarterback could be the difference for a lot of these teams. Yeah, even using a little pump fake right there, just sort of freeze the defense, try to roll out to your right. Nice defensive play there. So third and goal from the 17-yard line. Halley's coming over after every snap to talk with his coaching staff to get the next play. You have to be lined up outside the 10 to rush, and here comes the rusher straight up the middle. Halley on the run. That's got to be to the end zone. Incomplete. And they'll turn it over right there. So that had to be an end zone shot there. Last chance to score there for the Eagles. you got to put it up and see if you can come down with it. And after the turnover on downs, taken over at the five-yard line by the Bucks, It's the club. And the first pass is completed, but that was behind the line of scrimmage. We'll bring a flag. Illegal forward pass. Pass completed behind the line of scrimmage. That's half the distance to the goal. Loss of down. It will be second down. Every pass must be completed past the line of scrimmage. So every penalty is big hey, here, Tom, Tom because time. you lose you lose a down here offensively and the yards. You see how that's behind the red line there, the dotted line, easy call there. It has to be beyond that line. Christian Conley is the quarterback. That one incomplete. That sets up third down. Conley's 15 years old, nicknamed CC. His favorite team is the Texans. I hear he's a Stroud fan also. Who isn't, right? Shocker, right? <laughs> CJ Stroud. If you have Texans as your favorite team. <laughs> Got to get to midfield. This is third and 22. No floater, and knee was down at the 10. On the ESPN app and the NFL Network. Tom Hart, Teddy Brucey, Stormy Bonantoni. Second possession for the Eagles. 
Alley was four for seven the first time, and now he's going deep down the sideline, and it's incomplete. And Teddy, we were talking about the idea that this is a massive stage for these players, a stadium that seats 23,000 TV cameras, TV timeouts. How does that impact these kids? Yeah, these are two great teams. We saw them play yesterday that between them both, they only lost one game, and you can see a, a little bit of nerves, and to tell you the truth, if I was 15, I'd be a little bit nervous too. I mean, look Next at the field that they're on. You're in the shadow of the Hall of Fame. They just went through a TV timeout, Tom. When have they ever gone through a TV timeout yep. where a ref has said, just hold on a second, fellas. we got to go through commercials. So nice little short passes like this. I like this. Let's get some momentum going offensively. Attack the middle of the field. Nice little check downs to where, all right, we're catching footballs. We're getting first downs and now let's settle in a little bit. It was Julian Gutierrez with the reception and Halley now five of nine through the air as the Eagles out of Cumberland, Rhode Island start their second Green, possession. Green. Who on the right side? You? Sally, where you at? Who on that side? Third and they got to get to the midfield. And a choice to make up fourth down. They went for it fourth and short last time. The Eagles will play. I and see, they'll go for it this time. Up to the I line, see that play, and I automatically line. think this guy should be pushed out of bounds. And <laughs> pull the flag. Nice tackle there. Same play as before. Same play as before. Nice little short yardage play that the Bucks got to figure out there. Maybe zone that up, or you're just running a quick little rollout when it's fourth or third and two and less, two or let two and less. Teddy, I'm excited about seeing no rush, schematics no rush, no that are drawn up by these teams who play no rush, no basically rush. year round. Yeah, I mean, does that short pass then turn into all go? Stay with them, stay with them. Once they do go. Right, you see the pump fakes here. This is just, that turned into street ball right there because there was no rusher and they used another player back in coverage. But you see it, those are those are quick little hook routes, probably about at four yards, and then it's just get open. And, but really not using the rusher is something the Bucks have implemented up to this point. So now second and goal, only three downs available once you cross midfield. Maybe break this down in half a little bit. Allie's got all there day, we go. and he completes it inside the five and oh, into the end zone. Touchdown. They missed the flags. Touchdown, Eagles. Super important, I'm sure, Tom, for offensive players to run through the attempted flag pull because a lot of times, I was talking to defenders yesterday, sometimes you miss. Has all the time in the world, and then you just make a nice throw across the middle of the field, and then you don't break a tackle, but the flag can't be thrown. Touchdown, Eagles. And they're going to go for one from the five-yard line. Option to go for two if you back it up to ten. Brady Smith with the touchdown catch a moment ago. And across the goal line and in for the extra point. That's John Caggiano. You recognize that play? Same play they ran to the right just a couple times ago in short yardage situations. Just ran it to the left there. Here it is, a little curl. Boom. Run a flat behind it. Nice little concept. So you recognize NFL concepts, you know, collegiate concepts right here to just get players open in zones, short yarded situations. Converting in short yarded situations has got to be critical for this for this flag football championship. And the quick slant turns into a long gain of 19 yards, takes them just short of midfield. And what a huge advantage to have second and one from midfield. It opens up the entire playbook. Now here you hear the see the hit movement. There's a spin, nice little quarter turn. You can't pull the flag. And that's where the athletic ability of these players can really show through. Christian Conley completes it. That's good for the first down past midfield. Three plays is going to get it. Devin Holmes is the head coach for the club. Mm -hmm. and they give you it see? up underneath and nothing occurs. Yeah, Tom, you see how the Bucks and Eagles have both tried to settle in. I mean, we're, we're looking on, we're, we're talking about the flat. We're talking about down the middle of the field. Let these players catch the football, really settle in into this environment, into this whole championship round here. And let's play some football. The club out of Brevard, North Carolina, population 7,818.
in the mountains of Western North Carolina. Great one-handed catch to move it down the sideline. That's Tristan Wynn with the grab. Here's what it looks from our ref cam. Yeah, tough on those officials. They've really got to see when that flag is pulled to blow that whistle. Tom Lenave is our head referee today. Here comes the rusher. Great footwork back across the field for the score. And there's the mobility of the quarterback that we were talking about. You see, the rusher comes. He's able to escape. Changes where he throws the football. CC looking like C.J. Stroud right here, rolling to his right, throwing back to his left. And what a hands catch right there. Nice play by the Bucs. Touchdown. That's Arian Young with the score. It will go for one in the tie. Christian Conley, a perfect five for five on that drive. Right, so the ball has to be passed here. Mm. And delivers a strike into the end zone, and we are knotted up at seven. All right, now we're settling timeout. in. Eagles, that's their first time out of the game. 30 seconds to time out. We tied the game. We even it up. But look, over here, over here. Over here, it's 25 seconds left. No then come back to the line and just, you're going to get open. Get back to the line and just get open. Green, green, I need a rush. Stay deep in my zone, keep everything in front of you, come up for the flag. Green, 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 green. We got two safeties in the middle. That's fine. We're going to start to rush ball, the pass the now. Scoot up, scoot up, scoot up. You caught that with your left or your right? Ooh. Yeah, he caught that with his left. You got to be lined up behind the rush judge to be here an eligible comes. rusher. Alley just got mm. rid of it. And just short of the first down of midfield. Buck sent the rusher there. Howley was able to roll out to his right. Great throw. Clock is rolling towards the end of the half. Five seconds left. Good footwork and a wobbler towards the end zone is intercepted with a clock reading triple zeros. Need to take it all the way. And he gets tackled just past midfield. Yeah, Howley tried to That's get a little bit more time, but the rusher kept his feet and pulled a little bit of ball disruption on him. Just a ball up in the air. No really velocity on it. Easy interception there. Nice play. Solomon Young with the interception, and we are at halftime of game number one. After some early jitters, we are tied at seven. And so we move on to the second half. Tom Hart, Teddy Bruschi, Stormy Bonin, Tony. The winner advances to the next round. The loser heads home. Pool play completed yesterday through three games. And the Bucks get this one off with the rusher crashing. And that is just short of midfield and will leave them second and two. I guess, first of all, that's great coaching right there by Devin right there. Coach, love it. Tough love. Give him some strategy. Show him how to win the football game. I think he feels the stage. He knows he's encouraging. Just have a little fun. And you see Conley hey, right Solomon there rolling I mean, to his left. Get a short switch. little pass. Good positive drive. Bucks are on the move. It's a Bucks team with guys that have been playing flag football for a long time, including zero, Arian Young, and four, Solomon Young. They've both been playing for eight years. A team from Brevard, North Carolina. All of these kids will go on to Brevard High School. Second and about three, and that's completed down the sideline to Solomon Young. He had to get his gloves just right pre-snap. He got them just right. Beautiful touch pass right there. Oh, my goodness, right over the defender. There's Conley, just a little slide to his left, right over it. Oh, man, that's beautiful. They are on the move. I mean, you can feel like they're, they're, they're playing now. A little bit of tightness and nerves in the first half, Tom, positive but right now right the Bucks are playing yards. good football. Christian Conley with eight consecutive completions now and a handoff. And the ball's loose, and it's dead where it hit the turf. And that is a major loss. That is a loss of seven on a 50-yard field. So that'll be no fumble. That'll be no fumble there. It's dead right there. The play's dead, and they go back to the line of scrimmage, and then they play. Right. Or is it? Trips right. Trips right. It's a fumble because it was handed off. At the spot. Opposed. Fumble is at the spot right there. Yep. Okay. That's the first time, by the way, we've seen a handoff. Now, you can hand it off. Gives you a chance to the person who it's handed off to can run or throw. We haven't seen a rush yet this game. Yeah, well, that's why that's why you want to hand it off to a quarterback. So now he's got the option of doing both. A little in route. And it's ruled a completion and then a drop. That takes him to the 11-yard line. 
So this will be third down. We need an end zone shot here. That's one thing that gets used. You get four downs prior to midfield, and then yeah, only three, three downs, downs here. Past three downs midfield. here. Yes. A bunch to the left. And a sack, oh. a first of the game. That's what I've been looking for. These type, when you rush the passer, how good of a rusher do you have? We'll see various players rushing the quarterback, but if you can break down just like this incredible play and pull a flag, you're taking a down away when you only have three to score. That's a great play right there. Matthew Fontaine with the sack. And first down for the Eagles. And yep. a completion on first down. I think another thing to look back on that sack is the idea that if you're going to rush, you want to make sure that that quarterback is rushing away from his strong hand. Here's a reminder of some of those flag rules. So getting the right-hander to roll left great instead point. of right. Absolutely great point there. Touchdowns are six. You can go for one or two. And we are tied at seven here. That was the score at the half. And first possession of the second half now for the Raptors from, North, uh, from Northern Rhode Island Boys and Girls Club out of Cumberland, Rhode Island. Just outside the no-run zone here, so they still have run-pass options. Fifty-yard field with ten-yard end zones. Got to get it to the yellow strap at midfield for the first down. Oh, great play! Picked. Great play! Now you force them into decision here. We're going to fourth and mid, let's call it. This little out there. Way to break on the football right there. Eagles See, there's no, need to, there's no need to secure a tackle with your right arm. What you want to do is disrupt the so football scored. and flag so football scored. or go for the interception right there. Great job. Braylon Thompson with the pass breakup. You don't have to go for it on fourth down, and there is no kicking, so a punt automatically puts it at the opposition's five-yard line. Yeah, two defensive point. plays, two great defensive plays by Fontaine and Thompson right there to end drives by the opposing team. This is getting tight here. Tie game, second half, 7.20 left. Each half is only 12 minutes. Rusher comes in on a blitz and a pass is complete and a good rip after a gain of six. Another example there, Tom, of the rusher coming from the quarterback's throwing hand to make him roll away from his throwing hand. Twins, right, scissors. Give me a quick slant on the left. Make sure I got the line, guys. All right. So he says scissors. So you're looking at a, two routes that will cross Biggest across each game. other. Christian Conley has 11 consecutive completions. Yeah, scissors up top right there. You see those two players. One will go in, one will go out. There's the scissor route right there. There's the rollout and then the crosser. That takes him to third down, third and seven. I mean, these concepts, a lot of these kids play tackle football, so the same concepts that you're hearing is the same thing I went up against defensively, defending scissors, flat routes, crossing routes like that. I'd love to see these kids in pads when they... <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of them will. A lot of these guys on the team out of Brevard, North Carolina, the Bucks, they all play tackle football in addition to flag. See, and this just hones your skills, kids. If you're, if you, if you say, "No, I'm going to play tackle," but if you complement it with flag, there are a lot of skills in space that are very valuable that you're seeing here. First run of the game, and very nearly had an illegal screen. It goes for a touchdown, but you could see Tristan win number one in the middle of the field. Yeah, that, that's for the first down there across in midfield. Um, yeah, nice little run by Conley. Oh, look at those hips keeping the feet inbounds. So first and goal. Very specific rules, Teddy, about impeding defending players, whether they're coming on a rush or coming in to make a tackle. You can't really have a running screen or block. You have to stand still. Yeah, that's, that's a big emphasis, especially internationally, that no contact, no screening, no picks, blocking, anything like that. It's all about being in space here. Any of you 
offensive and defensive linemen out there, this would this would be hard. <laughs> yes. This would be hard. <laughs> On second and goal. Completed to Solomon Young. Yes. Solomon had a big first down catch, and he had an interception to close the first half. You see the various, thing, various things quarterbacks use in flag football also to give them more time for the with a free rusher coming at them. Pump fake, slides, footwork. I mean, a lot of quarterbacks, you can, you can see that they, they have those various similar traits of footwork to keep to stay alive and they, to be able to throw the football. Mm, rusher like coming again. Conley gets rid of it. And to the is. back of the nice end zone play. for the score nice to Solomon Young. That's a great play by Conley right there. Just little stutter move to avoid the rusher. Roll out to his right. Meet you at the flag right there. Fantastic play by Connolly. It's big C.J. Stroud fan. Seen C.J. make that play many times. They'll go for one. Connolly dumps it in the end zone. Incomplete. That's a huge breakup with the Eagles getting the ball when we return. I think there might be some crossover in that fandom, huh? Probably. I know with my yes. daughters that applies. Yeah. I had sons, so it's... Uh... <laughs> it's okay. They can oh, he's open. Too. He's open. open. Oh, no. No. All right, so they got to bounce play. back Big after chance. that one, Teddy. Big chance there. Big chance. I think the coach is... Oh, coach wanted to take a shot there, or maybe Howley just saw him deep, but got through the coverage. Could have been a big play. And a sigh of relief on the club sideline. The boys from Brevard dodged a bullet there. Yeah, with a running clock, this is... Do you think that this is it here? I mean, this has got to be done here. And there it is. Now they get him. A first down and more. And inside the 10-yard line and a huge gain. Delivered by Parker Halley, a 30-yard pickup. Yeah, Halley had a lot of time to throw there. Receivers continuing to work open. Just a little bit of movement. Quarterbacks have to all oh, the little hip shake too, to get a little bit, a oh, little bit more time down the middle of the field. Nice throw and catch right there. I see you with the hips, quarterback. So first and goal, running clock 2:40 and playing. The Raptors do have two timeouts. They can run it now. Got run pass option. Throw. Run pass option. And he is in for then. the touchdown. And like you said, the miss extra point by the Bucks over there on the other end. Here's a big chance right here. There's the handoff that makes it a run pass option now for the player, which is the quarterback could have thrown, could have run, and he decided to run, got across the end zone. A look from side judge there on the touchdown run, and now I dare ask this question, did they score too early? Running clock, it'll be two minutes, just under two minutes when the Bucks get it back, but Raptors want to use as much time as they can. Yeah, I don't think we're, we're thinking about time here. I mean, these kids, you want to get it in the end zone, put the pressure on the other team. All right, they stopped it. Look at that. There's a flag, and back to the end zone. The point after is good, the call. Competing a rusher on the offense. That's a five-yard penalty. Lost him down. That's a result of a, a non, not, no good on the point try. So with the flag, they don't get a chance for another opportunity. It's a simple screen plays, impeding the rusher. You have to avoid... So you see the rusher coming right there, and then the route coming straight. I mean, that's that's always <clears throat> that's a rule. That's a rule. You've got to be. There's no contact allowed, and impeding the rusher is one of them. Pass is tipped and falls incomplete. Tied at 13, 110, and rolling. Timeouts are available. That ends a stretch of 15 consecutive completions for Christian Conley. Club has two timeouts in their pocket. Three more downs to get a first down here. Conley right over the top, complete. And an injured player for the Eagles, number zero, has to hurry back across. Running clock. We got a running clock. Thirty-five seconds left. Conley gets rid of it quickly. Oh, he doesn't have a flag. He didn't put his flag back in. Yes, yeah, so he is down as soon as he gains possession. Buck. 
and the Bucks will take a timeout here. It's on the player to make sure the flags yeah. are in. So with the running clock, you see it's. Let's listen to coach. Down, we gotta get the first. We don't need a big play right now. We need to get to the yellow line to go. I got two more timeouts too. Get your routes to the yellow line, work to get open, and get the first down. All right? Or we give them a chance to go beat us right here if we don't get this. Get the first down. Punch right space. Let's go. Win on two. Win on two. One, two. Win. And you're talking about strategy before that timeout? Yeah, well, uh, it's go left. With, the, with the frequency of go what's left. going on with the running clock, you have to put your flag back in. And, you know, in lo a lot of young players, you just forget to do that. And so that's why it was stopped right where he caught it. So fourth down, shy of midfield. Got to have it, and they get it. First down and more, and that'll take inside the 10 with 18 17, two timeouts remaining. Bucks use the timeout after timeout. five Bucks. seconds roll That's off second and have a chance to set up what could be a game winner here with 13 seconds left. Just like Coach was saying, just get it across the yellow line, but then catch and run. It was a nice little catch and run play. Conley hits the little crossing route, slash, slant route right there. And then you force a kid to pull a flag, get out of bounds, call a timeout. Here we go. Then, no, bunch right, bingo, and then, then bunch left space. And then, bunch right, bingo, then bunch, bunch left, left space. space. Go win the game. All right. Y'all don't want to go win the game on ESPN yeah. for game time? <laughs> <laughs> Quarterback, take care of the football. Tell them, hey, coach. Come on, somebody come in and clutch. Somebody make a play. Win on two, one, two. Win. Let's get it. Devin Holmes, the head coach for the team from Brevard, North Carolina. 13 seconds left. Hey, man, that was a big play. Two downs remaining. Just talk to your kids. Hey, we're on ESPN, fellas. Go out there, show out, win a football game. Let's see what happens. Christian Conley has been on fire in this game. Little rollout. End zone. Caught on the sideline incomplete. Out of bounds. So here we go. There is a flag. Is a flag on the field there? Oh, ball was gone. Even if you get pass interference, if that's the call Good here, holding. the clock is real issue. Eagle. That's a spot foul in the end zone. We will place the ball on a one-yard line. First and goal from there. Oh, man, from the one. You can run a lot of different stuff here. What will likely be the last play. There was. With the clock off, we will be playing one on time down from here. All right, so they ruled it was triple zero. So we got one play from the one-yard line. Teddy Bruschi to win it. You see, I mean. The Eagles have tried to implement at times just quick passes to the flat. Let's see if the Bucks also try to do that. You need one yard. And this is obviously in the no run zone. So something where quick to the flat or you utilize Conley's ability. Oh, hey, what a play! In the game. What a play! Is that Fontaine? Matthew Fontaine. Fontaine again! again. And we got overtime coming. You put your best player at pass rusher and you track down the quarterback. What a what a pull. What a pull right there to be able to break down and still get a flag. Fontaine with the quarterback sack to send it to overtime. Fantastic play. That is the second sack for Matthew Fontaine. Here, look at the overtime rules. A coin flip will decide who gets the ball to start. If you score in the first overtime, first overtime, you have the choice to go for one or two. Once we get to the second overtime, you have to go for two. And the third overtime turns into a, a yardage game, basically. Let's stay away from the third overtime. I agree. Okay. So possession from the five. There's the play. That's the play that the Bucks stopped once, but three out of four times that it's been run has been successful in a short yardage situation. Little rollout, curl, and then a flat behind it right there. John the Caggiano curl by the number the one, then the flat behind it. So... This is good stuff, Tom. This is great stuff. This is great stuff, I'm telling one. you right now. I'm so excited. See these kids compete like this. This is great. And a chance to go for one. It is 19 to 13. Raptors and uh, now a chance for the Bucks into the end zone. Oh, Con, great. We're tied again. Ray. So this is Conley. You see Fontaine. I think it was Fontaine as the rusher trying to get him to roll to his left, but still he has the ability, Conley does, to move his feet to get out to the right. Little juke there and still able to roll to his right, which is his strength, and complete a pass. Here we go, second overtime. 
So now we got to go from the 10. So now we got to go from the 10. We've got a run pass option here that is available. So the Bucks start with possession from the 10. There it is. And there a it push is. Up it's and another sack. It's Fontaine again. Fontaine trying to make Conley move to his left. Move to his left and throw from the left when Conley's always been able to escape to the right. It's been successful for the Bucks. Not here. Fontaine out of Cumberland, Rhode Island. Love seeing these kids rush the pass for time. Yes, of course you do. <laughs> you want as much defense as you can find in this game. Third sack of the game for Matt Fontaine, and now a chance for the win for the Raptors. Can the Bucks come up with a stop? Look at the stack formation. All three players on the right. First time we've seen it this game. Oh! oh! Touchdown and a game winner to Jack Caggiano. What a play. Absolutely fantastic. Kids from Cumberland, Rhode Island, pulling off the victory like that. Unbelievable. Nice play call by the coach. Stack three receivers on the right. Roll out Howley. What a throw. What a catch. This is flag football right here, and I love it. And so the kids from Cumberland, Rhode Island play on. You got an inbreaker, you got a deep route, and you got a short shallow route right at the pylon whip company with a rollout right there oh right through his hands and a great catch 